Welcome back to all the amazing 18,000 subscribers that we have on this channel today and to the 300 plus new subscribers that we've gained over the last 28 days. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys. Having three Frenchies is a lot of work. And when we meet someone new, their first question is, how much does it cost to feed your Frenchies? Now I feed my dogs raw. When they hear that, they ask me, how much does it cost to feed three dogs raw? Well, it just so happens that I need to stock up on their food. So in today's video, you are noisy i'm trying to do this cut here so in today's video i'm going to talk to you about why i feed raw what proteins do i feed my dogs where i get my raw dog food from and at the end of this video i'm going to share with you how much it actually costs to feed my dogs raw every month all right so let's not waste any time and let's get into this video So I feed my dogs a raw diet because there's so many benefits to it. It's good for weight management, gums, and their teeth. So when Kifli and Sorak were still puppies and they were still growing and they were learning how to go to the washroom outside, it was a huge benefit to them and me because they weren't going to the washroom as frequently, but also when they did go, because we did have accidents inside, it didn't smell bad at all. Nothing compared to like if I were to be feeding them kibble. Also because of all the moisture that the raw food contains, they don't drink a lot of water, so they don't end up going to the washroom as often. Okay, we gotta get some gas. Now, aside from all the benefits that I just listed to you guys, another reason why I feed my dogs a raw food diet is because I know exactly what's going into their food and into their bowls. The problem that I see with kibble is that a majority of the kibble that is out there has some kind of chicken or poultry, which if you have a French bulldog, or any kind of bully breed, you know that these dogs are allergic to. So if your dog has allergies and you're still feeding it kibble and it's not going away, it's most likely because that food has some kind of chicken or byproduct of it. So this actually brings me to my next point of what I actually feed my dog. So Fuli and Sorak do have allergies to some proteins, which includes lamb, turkey, chicken, but they also have some other allergies like pumpkin, soy, and beans, rice. These are all very common things that are in kibble. Being that they have so many different kinds of allergies, it's a lot easier for me to give them a raw food diet that just has meat, organs, and bone. Now, if you wanna learn more about raw dog food, then go check out my raw starter guide video. I'll have a link for it up top. It's always a lineup at Costco. It's always so awkward filming in public because everybody is always watching like what are you doing setting up your camera in a gas station of Costco? The looks that I was getting was hilarious. The company that I use for my raw dog food is Canada Raw. Now, they're a local company here in Markham, Ontario. They're the only company that I've found here in the GTA that will sell me in bulk. And I've been using them for about a year and a half now. And what I love about them is all of their dog food is human grade, which means basically it's the same kind of meats that you and I would eat as well. Why I like them and I support them and I continue to come back to them. They have a huge variety of different kinds of meats from your standard chicken, beef, lamb, duck, proteins that you would find at your regular dog food store. In addition to that, they also have a wide variety of exotic animals like kangaroo and bison also it kind of helps out that they do give me a breeder's discount because i buy in such high volume sometimes so that's kind of a nice bonus too okay we got to get going because i got to get this food at home and i got to get it packed and into the freezer all right i got the bill right here so we're gonna go over this once i get back home also if you're interested in one of these hats or these sweaters that i wear in my videos then go check out my website, I got a few more of these hats and these sweaters available. I also have the Frenchie Queen sweater. Grab yourself a sweater, grab yourself a hat. Promise you, you won't regret it. And I got some more apparel coming out later on in this year.
Okay, so I got the bill right here. So a few things. I know earlier in this video, I said that bully breeds French Bulldogs that are all allergic to chicken and poultry. However, I have had allergy testing done on all three of my dogs, so I know what they're allergic to. So we just stay away from turkey, lamb, chicken and there's a bunch of other ingredients in there like pumpkin and soy oats there's a list of them which is why kibble doesn't work for us so with that said i feed fully kifli and sirak duck pork and beef and i throw some fish in there sometimes as well fully weighs about 30 pounds and based on his weight he's getting about 10 ounces a day Kifli and Sorok are both around the same weight. They're about 22 pounds. So they're getting about eight ounces a day each. So we're going through just a little bit over a pound and a half a day. Now for this run, I only picked up 90 pounds. I got 30 pounds of pork, 30 pounds of duck and 30 pounds of beef. Now, all of those have different prices per pound. Today's grand total came to $345.58. On average, it came out to about $3.83 per pound, and that's in Canadian dollars. So it's about 1.6 pounds per day. It comes out to about $6.12 a day just to feed them. Hopefully it didn't mess up on the math there. That's not including their supplements or their treats or... So yes, it's pretty expensive to feed these three knuckleheads every day, but I love them. And I still think it's a better alternative than feeding them kibble because then I would have to face, you know, trying to figure out what bag of food doesn't contain any of the ingredients that they're allergic to. And then having to deal with, you know, skin issues and also, their skin would just be so oily and it just wouldn't be as satisfying to pet them. All right, my friend, so that's how much it costs to feed my three dogs. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, drop a comment down below, and please go check out my other videos that I have on raw dog food. You won't regret it. If you wanna help support this channel and me in feeding my dogs, then please go check out the My Pots and Frenchie shop. I'll drop a link down in the description for you guys to go check out. Grab one of these hats or one of these sweaters. It's all premium. It's really good, nice, soft material. You guys will love it. All right, that's it for today, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, we ain't trying to grow any stunt for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste.